Hello, I'm Andy and uh, I'm introducing a new program which is called Tarot Love Life <coughs> for Animal Signs and it is for the month of March 2017. For you, the monkey. You come from the monkey family. Now, I'm going to shuffle my tarot cards, Kabbalistic tarot cards and uh, I'm going to divide the month into two and so the first card that I'm going to pull will be to represent what might happen for you in romance or in marriage for the first 15 days of March. The first 15 days of March, well, good news that you can find romance very easily. So get active, socialize, communicate with the person you are interested in, send messages, send flowers, and you will see a good response in the first 15 days. But there is a slight warning. There's a sign of Jupiter here on the card and the warning can be that you may behave in a dominating way or the romance partner you are interested in may be acting in a dominating way. Try to take it easy. You cannot control somebody else's horoscope. You can only control your own. So you, even if the other partner is dominating, try to take it easy and just be flexible about it. Also, there is some news here that either you or the other romance partner may be argumentative. So that can also spoil the problem. So finding the romance is easy part. But handling the romance for the 15 days needs a bit of care. Also, you need to, I have to warn you or advise you that something secretive about you may be exposed or that the, part, the romance partner may know or something secretive of the romance partner may suddenly be exposed to you and that can also show some difficulties. So getting the romance easy in the first 15 days and then keeping it uh, at a good level difficult. Regarding your marriage, the same thing. Don't get into an argumentative mode with your marriage partner in the first 15 days. Don't want to dominate, don't want to be stubborn and also um, don't want to bring up past uh, instances which are making you unhappy or your marriage partner happy. This way you will be able to make the marriage situation much better. The good news is that the bonding is still strong. So whatever happens, the marriage is not going to weaken uh, too much or any way like that. I'm going to pull another card which will have to do with your um, last 15 days of uh, March. Now, firstly, in your romance areas, the situation for you, the monkey, becomes really bad. If you're not careful, the romance that you may have found recently is going to turn very bad. And if you already have a romance partner for some time, be very careful that the last 15 days of March can bring issues which, which turn a lot of difficulties for you and that can bring situations in your romance to a breaking point. So you cannot afford this time for the last 15 days to behave arrogantly or to behave in a hostile manner or to use words which are very unkind. In your area of marriage, the situation remains like this, that past issues can be brought up to bring fights between the two of you. Financial situations are also seen which can became, become argumentative and debating. And also be careful that your ego or your, your partner's ego may be the cause, may be the cause of bringing difficulties to you. So the first 15 days manageable in areas of romance and marriage but can get bad and then the last 15 days can, real, can turn really bad for you. Remind yourself in the last 15 days not to show any kind of provocation or anger or showing your bad temper. Now, I'm going to mention to you some ages which if you are of these ages, I'm going to mention you become very lucky and can control all these problems very easily. So for you, uh, the, the monkey, if you are the ages of 22 or 31 or 40 or 49 
or 58 or 67 or even 76. You will get very lucky during the whole month finding romance. Then it's up to you to stabilize yourself and not to let the romance slip by. And in your marriage situation, you will also be very lucky and you'll be always able to find uh, uh, um, repair and find solutions as well. So if you're of these ages, you're going to do very well in the month of March. Now regarding colors, regarding colors, excuse me, um, regarding colors, um, I'm going to mention the color which you should use a lot of in the month of March. And the color you should use a lot of is the color turquoise. So undergarments, top garments, try to have turquoise with, well, on you somehow every day. Or the contact you make in terms of pillowcase, bed sheets, towels, the chair, you sit on the carpets, the curtains, the wall. Try to have some form of turquoise or just hold something of a turquoise color. And you will see that plenty of good luck comes for you. Okay. Regarding directions, around the compass there is a home for every planet. And so for you, I would like you to face east as much as possible because there will be a group of planets in, in, um, in March that will make you very lucky. And when you face them, they bring you all the luck in terms of romance and marriage as well. Now, in terms of meditation, when you do you leave your hands like this, these are extremities, so your energy is escaping a lot all the time. So for this month, I would like you to use your thumb and connect it to your middle finger. It's called the finger of Saturn and it's going to make you very lucky and protective. So when you are wishing for something or meditating and hoping for your wish to come through, try to face your good direction, try to wear your good colors, try to do this. And what happens is the energy will not escape from your Saturn finger, it moves back through your thumb to you. And that period of meditation and making wishes becomes very powerful. Would be a good idea for you to go to Facebook and look me up. Uh, search for Andy, A N D I, dot Singh, S I N G H, dot nine, the number nine, dot Facebook dot com. I've had many messages saying people can't find me on Facebook, so do it this way and uh, communicate with me, follow me, and one day we may be able to Skype and I charge USD 50, 50 USD 50. And I will spend about 75 minutes with you. I would work on your date of birth and your time of birth. And then I would look at your palms. And I will, you can um, be happy with my consultation of 75 minutes. For the next five or six years, I will predict what's waiting for you. Until then, I wish you happy hunting in the month of March for you, the monkey. Good luck and goodbye.